our fall boot haul. Feel me forward. I'm a wife, I'm a mom, I'm a content creator based out of Birmingham, Alabama, but she's a Nigel babe. Today we are talking fall shoes, fall boots, and shoes that will take you through the colder months. Now, global warming is a thing because it is the butt crack of Satan hot outside, but I'm still buying those boots. So let's get into our fall boot and shoe haul. I'm going to start out strong, oh God, with the best boot that I have found for less, and that is the Givenchy Lock wedge boot. This box is so heavy. I ran into Saks the other day and they had these boots on display and I knew I was going to buy them even if they did not fit and they don't fit. They don't fit but sometimes you have to get it because it's on sale. Girl math. It's on sale, so they're going to fit. Like, I'm going to make it fit because it's on sale. Let's unbox these boots and see how they fit. FYI, big warning sign. These are not big calf friendly at all. I'm going to put to the side the video of them on my feet. Again, warning sign. Let the alarm bells ring. They are not wide cow friendly. I have cows, I think that are 16 and a half or 15 and a half. I got big calf muscle. These do not fit over my calf but I scrunch them down and wear them that way. I just love the boots so much and it was on sale for so much less. It was gonna fit whether it fit or not. So we made it work. I have it in a size 38, which is a size eight. I am regularly a size seven. So they fit a little bit big in the foot, but the calves is usually where I have to worry about. Now these boots come in wide calf. I just so happen to find the ones that were not wide cow for $750. Let me say that again, $750. I've already kind of worn it. You can see it's been scrunched because I cannot have them straight up. This is the boot. I'm gonna bring it a little bit closer. My favorite thing is this lock detail. There we go, there we go. Look at the lock detail on this shoe. It's gorgeous, it is a gold gold. Let me try to get the light off of it. There we go. It's looking like a champagne gold, but it is a gold, 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 black leather. It is absolutely gorgeous. It's a wedge, so it's a little bit more comfortable. I can walk in it a little bit longer. Um, and of course, it is calf length. They also have an ankle length. This boot comes in so many different variations. I'll put some pictures to the side. But when I saw this, I knew I wanted to get it. I love the wedge detail. I can walk a little bit longer in it because it is, again, a wedge. It's a little bit more comfortable because it's not a straight heel and a long incline. And the color is just perfect. I'm going to show you some of the ways that I would style this boot. Um, of course, with a skirt, with a long dress, with it peeking a little bit under is probably my favorite way to style this for the fall and for the winter. I love that it's leather, so it's going to last me a little bit longer. And then one way to make sure that you maintain the leather on this boot is to have shoe inserts so that it doesn't fold down on itself. I would recommend this boot for anyone who does not have big calves. If you do have big calves, I would recommend another boot that's a little bit less expensive. So let's take a look at the other boot. The next boot that we have is wide cow friendly and it is way less than the Givenchy pair. These are from Macy's from the brand called INC or Inc. I love this brand so much. They always come out with amazing items that are like the look of designer for less. So they're not dupes, but they are like designer inspired. This boot right here, I was so excited to get. I love a white boot for fall. Let me bring it closer. It is white, white. It's not off white. Um, no, actually, it's not snow white. It's, let me see if you can see the color a little bit better. Let's let it focus. This is it. This is the color right here. Oh, perfect. It's not Elsa white. Like, it's not blaring bright white, but it is like a soft, soft white. It almost looks like the Givenchy lock boot. I love that it has the little cover on top of the boot. It is 
wide cow friendly. Hey, hey, it zips on the side. Unlike, um, look at that, it zips on the side, so you just slide your foot right in, and it has a lot of room. Again, I am a size 16 and a half calf, and these boots, there was still room after I put the boots on. I'm going to put a video to the side. There was still room after I put the boot on. It is such a great boot if you have big calf muscles like I do. Um, again, styling this with a skirt, styling it with a dress. It is just a gorgeous, gorgeous shoe, and it's perfect if your legs are a little bit wider at the calf muscle. One thing that I love about the INC boot is that the inside is lined as well, and it's lined with a thicker fabric, so in the winter, your feet are going to be warm and cozy, or your legs are gonna be warm and cozy in this boot. The heel is a little high so if you have a little bit of a back issue i would say definitely stay away from this one it does have a deep incline but it is not super uncomfortable to walk in another thing that i love about this boot is that it zips the Givenchy boots do not zip but these zip the Givenchy boots just slide up these zip for easier way into the boot um, the only thing I would tell you is if you're going to buy it and you have bigger, wider feet, not calves, but feet, size up. I got this in a size 7, which is my regular size, and the foot is a little bit tight. Now, it might loosen as time goes on, but if you're trying to buy it and wear it right away, get a bigger size. Um, it's probably going to be better for you if your calves are really wide. The bigger size is going to be better. Size up a half or even a full size just for the foot portion of that shoe. Let's go to the next shoe. And if you're enjoying this video, think about hitting that subscribe button. I would love to have you as part of my community. But let's go to the next shoe. The next shoe is another affordable shoe. It is also wide cow friendly and it is from Steve Madden. You guys know Steve Madden is a hit or miss. It can either take you to the gates of heaven, of sleigh, or it will drag you down by your feet to the pit of hell. These ones will drag you to heaven. I absolutely love it. I think every person should have a patent leather boot for the fall and for the winter. These are black patent leather. It almost looks like an oil spill. It is wide cow friendly. I love the cut, the slanted slope of the cut of it. So right when it gets to the biggest part of your calf, it kind of slides off. Um, it is absolutely gorgeous. I'm going to bring it a bit closer. There we go. Look at that. Everywhere the light hits it, it's like reflecting. The heel is a bit long, so keep in mind. It's almost the same heel as the heel on the Macy's INC boot. It is a pointed toe that you can wear underneath so many different things. This is another one that you could wear with a dress or you could wear with a skirt. Or you could even wear underneath a pair of jeans that are a little bit wide-legged. And one thing that I love about the inside of this boot is that it's lined. There we go. It is lined in red and this beautiful soft fabric on the inside so your feet slide right on in. It is the perfect little boot and it is a really great price. There are videos to the side of me styling these boots. We are going to bring our brother Steve back for a second round. It is another pair of Steve Madden boots. I saw this at Nordstrom. Nordstrom Rack and I fell in love with it. I will link all the boots if I can find them down below in the description. These were crocodile embossed, faux leather embossed shoes. I love them because they look like the Givenchy lock boots with like the little coverlet over the boot, but the color is what sold me and the design on it is what sold me. I'm gonna bring it close. Look at that. Let's get it to focus. Look at the beautiful, beautiful chocolate brown. Like this boot is so, so gorgeous. It is a uh, edge, so you're not gonna have issues walking in it. It's gonna be super comfortable. As you can see, it's pretty flat. It's not a big heel, it is pretty flat. You'll be able to walk in these for a long time. They don't have a zipper, so they slide right onto your foot. Color, the embossed crocodile look, the sheen to it has like a little bit of a sheen to it. All make this boot a very beautiful boot to have for the fall. The inside is also lined. 
the lining is a dark brown lining and it feels like butter like literal butter so it slides on so easy onto your foot and your leg it's not wide cow friendly but if you have a 15 15 and a half to 16 calf you'll be great it doesn't go all the way up to your calf so you won't have that much issue with it if you have a calf that's bigger like 17 18 i would forego these shoes now for the girls that are like fumi not every day heels not every day we want to break our back for the people I have a pair of flats for you. They are Gucci loafers. I absolutely love these. I've worn these before. I bought them a while ago. I just never talked about them on this channel, but absolutely obsessed with these loafers. They are dirty because again, I've worn them. I wore, I wore them to my son's football game in the grass. I don't know why, don't ask me, but I absolutely love this. Look at the horse bit detail. It is in that jumbo G motif. Let's get it to focus. There we go. It's in that Jumbo G motif with the little horse bit detail right here. I think that's a horse bit detail. I'm not a horses in the back girl. But yeah, I love this little detail right here, which Gucci is known for. The inside is leather and so, so comfortable. So comfortable. It is not a heel loafer. It has like a little tiny bit of a heel, but it is a flat loafer. So you'll be able to wear this for a long time. It is not leather. It's this gorgeous, of course, canvas material that Gucci is known for. I highly recommend this shoe. However, if you're going to buy this shoe, I would definitely say size up. It fits a lot snug. I don't want to say a little snug. I'm going to say it fits a lot snug. So if you have wide feet, fat feet, size up a full size or maybe half a size i ended up getting i think a size 37 hold on yes i ended up getting a size 37 and a half i am actually a size 37 i would have probably gotten a 38 if i knew it was going to fit that snug but it does stretch out over time so i would say only go up half a size that's going to be perfect for you let's look at the next shoe and the next one also is a weapon i don't know what else to tell you it's a shoe and a weapon and guess what brand it's from if you know you know we all know this brand honey it's been murdering feet since feet were created christian louboutins i went into Saks and my essay talked me into buying this shoe and i want to fight her no not my essay it was somebody else and i want to fight them i thought it was so cute when i got there and i saw them and then i took them home and tried them on and i was like Iradi, Fumi, what were you thinking? What is wrong with you? Um, this is an ice pick that they put on a shoe. Do you see how high? I am four foot eleven. This shoe will literally take me out. If I fall while I'm wearing these shoes, leave me where I lay and call the ambulance. I'm gone. I'm I'm actually talking to Jesus, Paul, and Mary if I fall in these shoes. Look at how high they are. Like the heel ratio, oh my god, look at this dip. But they are absolutely gorgeous. You're talking about a holiday party. You're talking about New Year's. I mean, you can't, you can't drink. You can't drink if you wear these shoes. Because if you're a little bit tipsy, baby, Jesus is holding your hand into the pearly gates. But they're perfect for a photo shoot. They're perfect for a holiday party. If you're not going to be there that long, they're perfect for Christmas um for new years i mean there are only like three occasions i would ever want to wear this to it's also really cute for like a moment with my man my man my man when he gets home from work and it's payday and i want to meet him at the zoo with just shoes and the presence of god <laughs> <laughs> these are the shoes i like them because for me it looks like a piece of art it's very fun it's very nice and if i'm getting chased i just take them off and ah, 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 ah. i'm whacking you with it period um i will link this down below if you're feeling frisky go get them but if you are a clumsy girl like me baby get the gucci loafers and call it a day the next one is versace Versace, 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 Versaciones. It is Versace. I, ooh. I'm not even going to tell you what I found in the box. 
because my kids have been playing in here. Um, I got these from Saks as well. They were on sale. It was an end of summer sale. Please shop end of summer sales. I know there's one going on with Essence, Sephora, Saks as well. Look at these. Now, a lot of y'all will be like, Fumi, it's so colorful. How is this fall? Baby, we wear color fall, winter, spring, summer. It doesn't matter. A color will be had. And I'm not talking about these muted browns and oranges. Wear bright fuchsia in the summer. Why did I say fuchsia? Wear bright fuchsia in the summer. Like, don't be that beige and brown girl. Put some color in your life. It'll make you smile. It'll make you a lot more happier. These are the Versace heels. I am going to put the name on the screen. And hold on. Let's see if it... Oh my God! Look at that. Look at the Versace emblem, the little Medusa head. Look at the color. Look at the vibrancy. I love that the heel is chunky so you're not breaking your neck to look good. It also has an ankle strap, so that also helps if you're a little bit clumsy like I am. There's so many layers of protection on this shoe, but the best thing about it is this chunky heel and of course the color i love that it's a square toe so you get a little bit more room if you have bigger toes or bigger feet um the inside it does not have cushion on the inside but grab a pair of dr shows and put it in there and baby you're good to go but look at the color look can we just take a moment of silence for the color and then look at the bottom this is probably my favorite part get it to focus there we go look at that look at that little medusa emblem at the bottom of the feet as well i haven't worn these shoes but i'm gonna put to the side different ways that you can style this beautiful beautiful shoe i would say add it with more color have a muted moment and have the shoe be that pop of color that you want it is just an absolutely beautiful shoe and it's comfortable let me say that again it is comfortable there's not a lot of times where you find shoes that are comfortable and look good so when i find them i'll probably go buy this say with me in another color because <laughs> we love to look good and feel good while we look good and just like that we have come to the end of our shoe haul for the fall winter season we had some boots we had some heels and we had some flats Things that will take you through the winter season, have you feeling comfortable, looking good, and of course, slaying. If you like this video, please think about hitting the subscribe button. I would love to have you as part of my community. If you have not turned on post notification, please do so that you'll be notified every time I go live. And thank you for joining me on this corner of the internet. I love you.